Hey y'all, I wanted to share with you how to utilize text on a path in Photoshop Elements. The text on a path needs to be created in the full version of Photoshop and then provided to the Photoshop Elements users. And I have one here that I'm sharing with you that is in a circle form and I want to uh, go over with you how to utilize this uh, file. I have here a new file that's been opened up and as with all of your items you want to move this file over to your new file so that you can save this so it can be reused again. So I'm going to hold down my control key and click on all three of the layers here in the layers palette so that they're all selected. If I don't want the frame or the mat, um, I wouldn't select that. You can just move however many you want. With the move tool as the active tool, I'm going to just slide that over to my new file. Click this one and choose to close it out. Keep it for safekeeping. And there they are all in my new file, my layout file. Now if I want to make um, the mat invisible and the frame invisible, I can do that. If you want to um, use this uh, shape of a circle as a, a clipping mask, um, put a paper over it and hit Control G. Uh, just, um, you know, you can use your paint bu bucket to fill it, whatever you want to do. Um, the frame layer is just a simple border and you can recolor it or do whatever you want to do with it. Now for the text layer, I'm going to select my text tool. I'm going to just hit right here. Let me zoom in. I'm just going to hit right here um, somewhere in this uh, text to activate the text. And then once you activate the text, you can uh, position your cursor there at the front of the text. I'm going to select Control A for Control All and it's going to select all of that text all the way around. Now I can begin just typing right now and it's going to delete it all or I can just hit my uh, delete key and um, I have my cursor now right there at the beginning of my text where I can type. This is my journaling to go around my layout and um, you can go all the way around just to make this a lot faster. I'm going to control C to copy it because I'm going to repeat the text and show you how I can just paste it and it goes all the way around. Okay, um, when I'm done I can commit my selection and now I've journaled in a circle. Uh, you can also, I'm going to hit Control A, change the type of font. Let's do Century Gothic maybe. Um, I don't know why it was on bold. You can change the size of the journaling. Um, and uh, you know all those other text things that you might want to do with that. Now if I don't want my circle text to be so large and, and I'm going to be utilizing the mat and the frame too, I'm going to hold down my control key, click on all of the layers to select them, make sure my move tool is the active tool, and I can resize them to any size that I want. I can even kind of make it go partially off the page and have my text only on you know this part of the page uh, the ideas are endless so I can resize it and get back in here and do the same thing as I had done previously and type my text in a, oops, in a, I did it right, smaller circle. And um, 
Uh, same thing as before. When you resize them down, it of course automatically makes your text size smaller too. And so um, you can do the same things as you did before. Uh, change your colors, whatever you want to do to that text. Very easy to utilize in any size. One size fits all. Uh, and I sure hope uh, to see your layouts. Please upload them to my gallery. Uh, sharing um, what you do with these text on a path. There are already some others in the subscriber area um, and I'm going to continue to make different shapes so if you have a special request for a shape uh, please let me know and I'll try to get that done for you. Thanks for watching.